Our episode of how to jump into the pool from any high has over 2 million views. And you guys frequently ask us how to fold your hands at the entry when diving head first. There are a few ways to do it, like fists or swimming style. But what is the correct way? Today we are going to dive off different platforms and figure out what technique uses Tom Daly for his splashless entries. Make sure to watch until the end. All dives and tricks are performed by trained professionals. Don't try this at home or somewhere else. Hey, what's up, water crew? My name is Jim, and besides doing crazy water challenges, I also know how to dive professionally. There are so many ways to grab your hands at the entry. All the different tutorials show different techniques. But let me remind you, in Olympic diving, athlete's goal is to have no splash to get 10 points. Judges don't care how you fold your hands. The main thing is that they are straight and together. And no fountain after the dive. So there are four obvious ways to do it. But three of them are much less effective. And I'm about to explain why. Ready? Let's fly! The first and perhaps the most popular way to grab your hands to dive is to have one of your hands on top of the other. It is likely so common, because that's what swimmers do. Ask any of them how to dive and they will teach you this technique. But will it be effective after diving off something higher than a diving block? Just like I expected, it works great on the lowest diving point. But now let's see if I'm going to be just as successful on the 3 meters. Well, here comes the struggle. I hit my head on the water, because my hands drifted away as soon as I dove in. Plus, it was very unpleasant for my shoulders at the entry too. So this technique should not be applied on the platforms. Let's now try something different. The second way that I'm going to try out is fists. Many people like to dive using this technique, because it is easy to penetrate the water like this. Speaking of professional diving, I even found a video dated 1936, where one of the divers threw her fists at the entry, instead of holding her hands together. So maybe this technique is really that good? Let's try it out. But once again I hit my head because of my hands fell apart immediately after the dive. There is literally no protection for my poor skull when I dive using the fist technique. My hands are really unstable. It is physically hardly possible to keep them in the line underwater. So guys, I really don't recommend this kind of entry. Not approved. But there are two more ways to dive. Hopefully they won't cause pain. The next technique is quite similar to the fist's entry. Except this one implies holding your thumb in one of the fists. This gives you a more stable entry, because your arms aren't going to be pulled away underwater. There were some Olympic divers who used this technique. I found a great example of how a diver grabs her thumb with her fist and enters the water like that. So let me try this old school technique one myself from a higher platform. This one felt better than the previous two, but still it is hard to control the splash, because of how much my shoulders are struggling. Not really a stable technique from my point of view. So let's move to the technique that Tom Daly and other Olympians use now in pro diving for their perfect no splash entries. Ok, so the most common technique of the 21st century looks like this. You kinda have to make a lock with your hands. So this way, when you are preparing for the entry, you position your hands right above your head, which creates a great protection. If you guys would like, I can film a detailed tutorial on how to grab your hands to get a completely no splash entry. There are some tips on how to make ripped entry at the front dives, fit first dives and back dives. And a few secrets on what you should do underwater to get less splash. All the pro divers know them. Press like and comment below if you would like to see that. But let's look at how this entry works out for me. That's how all pro divers put their hands today at the Olympics and World Championships. Stable and helps to make less splash. Honestly, I was in rush, because this one was one of the very last videos I got to film in this swimming pool before I left the country. So I got a bit too much splash here, but you heard that noise of a ripped entry. Please, don't judge me too hard, but better remember how to dive safely. Guys, make sure to check out my playlist with different tutorials. Also, follow me on Instagram for some diving tip and advices for your dives. Don't forget to subscribe and push all the notifications. And please, don't do crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care.